Hi, welcome back to Bransford Webs. So we're in our old glass house this week and we're stood here because we're by the um, French lavender crop. So two varieties we grow are Tiara and Regal Splendor. The one that's closest is Regal Splendor. And that's just gone online this week. So two litre crop, buds just begin to form in there. So if I get close in so I can zoom in, you see the buds and that's appeared within the last sort of four to five days. So I'd imagine by the time that arrives in garden centres, another 10 days from filming this video, the buds are going to appear and hopefully, hopefully showing a little bit of colour if this sun carries on. And beyond that we've got the tiara as well, which I've got in the back of the car, so I'll just pull that out and show you, because that's a little bit further advanced, so the buds actually start to pop up now out of the top, and the ears are just popping on the top. Apologies about the noise, the wind's just picked up um, outside in the last hour or so, so the vents in the glass are just starting to close down. So we're straight on to looking good video this week, and what's um, things are looking really good, new and old on the nursery. So first of all, I'll just feature a couple of products that have been online um, for sort of 10 days, two weeks now, but looking absolutely stunning. So this is Arisum Golden Jubilee, um, arguably the best crop I've ever grown of it. Really nice tight habit, um, nice healthy foliage and um, masses and masses and masses of bud and colour starting to show now as well. So a real impulse pickup line, really tight plant, great in the container, great in the front of the border and a good doer in the garden. While we're talking about easy to grow plants, can't get much easier than the Vinca. So this has been Cool Illumination, it's got this lovely new flush of golden foliage that matures off with a dark green edge to it as it gets um, older and more matures as we go through the season. And loads of flower on there and bud coming through too. So a great all that and that purple and sort of um, lime yellow combination really stark and standing out on the plant area. And then uh, we've put three flocks online this week. And um, again, these have moved really fast in a bit of sunshine. So from having next to no bud last week, um, to the bud just starting to pop open. So first of all, I've got candy stripes, lovely pot full of foliage, masses and masses of bud, and the first one just starting to open. In case you didn't hear that for the vents, that's candy stripes. Then we've got McDaniel's cushion, which is a bit tighter in its habit, a um, bit darker green leaf as well. But again, loads and loads of bud in there, and more and more coming through, you can see it forming, and the first colour starting to show too. And last but not least, and actually my favourite for a garden plant, is Phlox Emerald Cushion Blue. So um, it's got some emerald green, hence its name. Forms a nice cushion too. Loads and loads and loads of bud in there. Just the first one starting to unfurl now. And um, yeah, should be showing colour by next week. Then also this week we put online our hardy osteos. So Barberay, Pale Face and Wheatwood. Barberay and Pale Face have got bud on them. Um, Odd flowers starting to show again with this sun, they're, under, they're in this glass house next to where I'm talking. I imagine they'll start showing colour by next week. But never popular one, we tend to be quite early to market with these osteos too. Um, and they're good for early season sales before the bedding varieties kick in. Anybody who's wanting a perennial variety, they are great on that score too. What else we put online this week? So, um, Convolvulus neorum, nice two litre crop, lovely silver foliage and budding up nicely too, so contrasting some of the dark leaved heapies that we've got online as well, so good merchandising options there and things like that. Um, and we've put a small, first small batch of Nemesia confetti online. So this is actually an improved version, we've ditched the old um, Nemesia confetti. Um, Richard Webb, um, one of the owners of Webb's Garden Centre, actually found this as a seedling in his garden, um, seeded from an original confetti, which um, Webb's nurses introduced many months ago before we um, before we merge with them. And so it's improved in quite a few ways. So it's dark, a slightly larger, darker green leaf. The plant stays more squat in its habit, doesn't get as leery as confetti can. And it's a much larger flower too, and slightly, slightly deeper colour. Um, but the scent is still there in a lovely, um, sweet, sort of candy scent to it really. Um, but yeah, really good plants. Um, and that's the new batch, small numbers online for delivery next week. And then another one of my favourites, is Aquilegia winky. I think she's a great garden plant. Um, traditional sort of Aquilegia, um, nice um, habit to it too, performs really well in the garden, mixed colours, loads and loads of flower on it. The first bud flower spikes just coming up. And you can see more and more forming in the centre there. That's in two leaves. Not a massive crop for us, but I think it's a great garden plant. I really like Aquilegia winky. So that's it for this week. Um, hopefully you all have a great Mothering Sunday. Um, sales are good. The weekend weather's looking good. So fingers crossed for everybody out there. The season's getting going now and um, yeah, things are growing like mad here at Bransford. We'll see you next week, see what's moved on from now. Bye bye for now.